Hi, in this video, we'll continue learning about Carol. We've been using Carol in all of our programs, and I love Carol. Honestly, Carol is a great dog, knows a lot of cool tricks, but oh, what's happening? Oh my goodness, Carol is evolving. I've been waiting for this to happen for so long. I can't believe it's finally happening. Carol has evolved into Super Carol. All right, this is huge. This is amazing because Super Carol can learn new moves. With Super Carol, we can turn right and turn around without having to define functions for them first. These commands are built in, meaning that Super Carol already knows them. Super Carol knows six commands, move, turn left, put ball, take ball, turn right, and turn around. This is all made possible due to the Super Carol API. So what is an API? Introducing APIs. API stands for Application Programming Interface. It is a set of tools for building software. A good API makes it easier to develop a program by providing all of the necessary building blocks. And these building blocks are then put together by the programmer. That's you. So how does all of this relate to Carol? Well, Carol is an API. Carol is an API built in JavaScript to make it easier to build cool programs quickly. The Carol API abstracts away the complex details involved in getting Carol the dog to move across the screen. So while there's a lot going on behind the scenes to get a picture of a dog to move across the screen, we don't have to worry about any of that. We just have to type the JavaScript command move and the Carol API takes care of it. The Super Carol API is even better. The Super Carol API is the exact same as the Carol API, but it has some new additions. In addition to abstracting away the processes involved in getting Carol to move around the screen, it abstracts away the details involved in getting Carol to turn right and turn around. It used to be that we had to define those commands in each of our programs, but now these are built into the API. This is the Carol API, which is the building blocks that we've been using in our Carol programs. They're the commands that Carol knows, move, turn left, put ball, take ball. The Super Carol API is the same, but we've added turn right and turn around. There's one more important thing when it comes to API, documentation. Documentation is an important part of an API because it provides information to show the programmer, that's you, how to use it. If you haven't checked out the docs tab yet, this is where you can find all the documentation for Carol and Super Carol. All of the information about this API, such as how to use it and the proper syntax, are all included in this documentation. Now that you know everything there is to know about Super Carol, let's head to the editor to explore. Here we are in the editor, and we're in our Hurdle Carol program that we wrote earlier. When I run this program, we'll see that when it's time for Carol to turn right, she'll go down to this function definition and turn left three times. But now, because we're using Super Carol, we can delete this function definition because Carol already knows how to turn right. So now when I run the program this time, instead of turning left three times, we'll see that Carol can actually turn right. Great, working with Super Carol is going to be a lot easier than working with Carol. One last thing that I wanna show you is going to this Docs tab. So if we go to the Docs tab, you can see here that we have all of Super Carol's built-in commands, move, turn right, put ball, turn left, turn around, and take ball. So if you ever forget what command Super Carol knows, you can check out the Docs tab and find it there. Now it's your turn to write some Super Carol programs.